don't care. Maybe you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. What up, man? It's your boy Shaw. Shaw vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 170, man. Got special guests in the building, man. We got writer, engineer, rapper. Is she about to have a podcast on Yeah, we gonna I think go around, too. Oh, yeah, podcast host and shit, guys on the label, whatever, man. We got Mike Brown in the building. What's good, bro? What's the deal? If y'all see his man's on the side, man, we got Melo in this motherfucking dog. We thought he was a Tubi rap. I mean, a Tubi actor. <laughs> Come to find out he ain't though, though. <laughs> Maybe in the future and shit, though. Look, he'd be a bouncer out here, a bouncing nigga out real quick. Yeah, yeah. He came in, he came in this bitch like a muscle. Like, <laughs> this nigga ready to knock a nigga out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful when these bring niggas over, dog. Yeah. <laughs> dog, real quick, we had dope boy Dre on. He had his boy sitting right in front of the door. I'm like, oh, he's a shooter. <laughs> dog, but shit, man, anything good with you, bro? Oh, yeah, man. I can't complain. Oh, can't yeah, for complain. sure, man. We start everything off, though, with a salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Wait for niggas to pass away before we give him or her them flowers. Okay. Made that long ass Facebook post and shit, dog. But it can't be somebody easy. It can't be if you got a lady, kids, your mom, your pops. It got to be somebody out of that easy, uh, you know what I'm saying, answer. So you got somebody you want to shoot some love to? Ain't no easy answer, man. Hard <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't do your mom's like, yeah, OG, I love you. No, <laughs> everybody, because, you know, we at the age where everybody that I'm in touch with, you know, they family now. For, for sure. Like, for as soon sure. as you say not friends or family, I'm like, shit. Oh, no, no, no. It could be friends. It just can't be family as far as your mom or your kids or your pops. Anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Oh, good. shit. Sorry, shout out my nigga Melo. Man. Yeah, my yeah, partner, for sure. man. Yeah. For real. Because he not even an artist, but I'm talking about how how he uh, represented, how we put this shit together. For man. sure. Hell Who would have thought he built it itself? Hell and yeah. I came along. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. Like, he's so passionate about it, and it kind of keep me inspired. For sure. So, you know. I had to shout out to my man. Shout out to the muscle. Man. <laughs> I think he threw a hundred pushes right now. <laughs> no, for real. For real no, talk, dog. You need those people behind you that's going to no, push no. you, bro. Yeah, it's, and somebody who's going to keep doing your shit if you be sure. fucking up. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Like like, uh, like your fam, right? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, no, for sure. He called me a bitch. And nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, you got like a bitch right now. Like, Damn, I mean, it's brutal honesty. Yeah, you know, like, like you need it. I mean, he's like, first I can do that shit. Like, <laughs> like, damn, you be really thinking, like, damn, I, I, damn, I was a bitch ass dude. Like, you got, you need those niggas for yeah, real, bro. Humbling. Yeah, because if they, humbling. if they don't keep it real with you, who is? You yeah. feel me, nigga in the streets? I don't give a fuck about you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So if your lady, who you will, your motherfucking, you know, what I'm saying your OGs around you and shit, dog, you need those people. Not for real. But shit, man, before we get to anything else, dog, like, shit, you say you want to top, uh, tap into the podcast world, dog, like, oh, yeah, talk about, man. like, what would it be about, you know what I'm saying, what would y'all, y'all have guests, would it be topic-based, like, how would that shit okay, go? Okay, well, for starts, um, it was going to be called Respect, well, it's called the Respect My Ground podcast, okay. um, it's basically going to be uh, for the people that's, that get overlooked, the mm-hmm. people that work, the people that get up and still uh, have a drive to support their dream. And, For sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the, the people that make this shit go flow. No, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like they're trying to get rid of the middle class. Everybody, as soon as they think rap, they don't instantly want to look rich. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. what about the people that that was trying to get there and we watched them. Like, mm-hmm. and that's why we feel like you can't grow with people nowadays. Yeah, for sure. So that's something I wanted to highlight. And with that, we was going to bring guests. Mm-hmm. Um, we was going to have people come in and give opportunities to um, for jobs, okay. uh, opportunities to where if, if you're in entertainment, mm-hmm. even if you're out of entertainment, clothing, um, real estate, mm-hmm. we was going to touch a whole lot of business. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's, it's one of the things that's still in the works, but... I think we finally might have it together. For sure. For, sure. <laughs> for real. For sure. What's, what's some shit that's holding it back right now? Like just um really just um just doing the small parts, you know, the business aspects. You know mm-hmm. how they can get real tedious. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So piecing that together and I think after that we'll be going for sure. and start for sure. Shooting. My only advice is just don't don't hold up too long, dog. Sometimes you yeah. gotta jump in that motherfucker. Yeah. It's gonna look crazy. Like episode one, this motherfucker was looking a little, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't know what to talk about too much and shit. I'm in that bitch yeah. nervous, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I write down shit, forgetting shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you gotta go back and then that's how you, you know what I'm saying, make that shit better. Yeah. You see them earlier episodes, like, what the fuck? Like, that shit, nigga. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. I'm cutting niggas off every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do my Nori and shit. I think we got a lane, but it's just too, I wanted to make sure it stayed all uh, for, you know, towards the theme of what it's about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. then I, I thought about just getting online and 
just kicking it with people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But then it was just like, nah, I want it to be a little bit more structured. For sure, you for sure. Me? Any podcasts that you be fucking with? I know you say you listen to a lot when you at work. Um, it's not really a specific podcast. It just depends on what people are talking about. Like, yeah. Because then I fuck around and run into Charleston White. He'll say some crazy <laughs> shit. That's my nigga. He like a crazy uncle, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I like um, like motivational speakers like that. My for sure. Name's, uh, Eric Thomas. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, like hell his, yeah. His yeah. material. Hell yeah. Some of the niggas be making you feel like, nigga, you be on your legs and you hear that shit like, yeah. damn. Because he like a coach. He yeah. yell at you. Hell yeah. Shit. You ain't doing nothing. Hell and yeah. he don't even cuss. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you got dreams and goals, but you want to no. help somebody else achieve that. For you sure. Like, damn. Hell yeah. For you know, sure. Well, let me get up on and hell break yeah. this grass real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I've been bullshitting the grass. Yeah, even my child. I was staying in the townhouse. But it's <laughs> that type of shit that, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and help the niggas yeah, out. Yeah, you feel me? Like, he can make you feel like you can't, you know, it's like you got to feed your spirit the yeah. good shit just how you For can sure. feed it the bullshit. Hell yeah, because yeah. that Everest commercial used to piss me off. Cause that bitch was coming no, because that wasn't motivational, man. <laughs> that nigga was picking on people. Hell yeah, because I was that bitch collecting unemployment and I ain't doing a damn thing. For real, yeah, that man. nigga ain't it. Ironically, he look like Mike Epps. Hell yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like, no. Yeah, nigga do like Mike Epps. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I ain't taking serious. They fucking with people. For sure. For sure. For sure. Y'all shit? smoke? smoke? No, 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 no. If I, shit, if I do that shit, this, we won't have no podcast. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Now, dog, this year almost over, dog. The motherfucking summer and flew by and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Feel like the motherfucking. It's like it's October right now, outside. Mm -hmm. But shit, how your year been so far, bro? Like, what's been going on with you? What's some, what some goals you, you know what I'm saying, you wanted to achieve throughout this year? And what's some shit that you're still trying to, you know what I'm saying, strive for? Okay. Um, well, I'm a new father. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, congrats, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. Hell man. Yeah, I had a daughter uh, last year. She just turned two. Okay. So, uh, my biggest goal, personally, was uh, making sure I be there for my family. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Finding ways to be there for them in different ways other than just finances. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, Facts. Being, being a, a hands-on parent, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, then uh, as far as the music and the artistry, mm -hmm. we just wanted to make our presence feel like putting music out and delivering a certain quality of music mm -hmm. to where it's like, you have to think. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, everything's so simplified and dumbed down with this shit. You you have to think, or it's gonna give you something, or it's gonna give you a vibe and make you kind of like okay. For sure, for yeah. sure. So uh, I think, I think we achieved that so far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had a couple hiccups, but we still, you know, we still put yeah, for sure. good material out, good yeah. videos, quality. Hell yeah, you know? got to. Yeah. Hey, now you say being your parent, you and you, I don't be in all your business. Your moms are also y'all together. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Yeah. So you have a girl. This is your first kid. You was, was you a, was you a, was you a dirtbag back in the day? They say I always say <laughs> niggas who have girls at first. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, let me. This is the wrong I'm trying to. I think it's the term <laughs> with dirt bag. I can't. I can't. <laughs> All right. I can say dirt bag, but yeah. you know, was you out there doing nope. your thing back in the day? Never. All right, man. It's, it's, it's a good dude, y'all. Salute to a good man. dude. No, I'm, I'm, look, no, it's a little captivity in that. Because <laughs> yeah, they yeah. always say that. you know, Because I know for sure if this nigga, he have a girl for sure. No, but I mean, it's cool to play like that. But in reality, I got a family that's predominantly women. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. So yeah, I yeah, kind of yeah. knew I was going to probably have a daughter. Yeah, first. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, how that shit changed you, though? Like, fatherhood, bro. Like, what's some shit that... That was surprising. Like, damn, I didn't know this shit. This wasn't the man. Uh, damn, I was having a baby. That's yeah. what was surprising. Yeah. Like, me for the baby. Yeah. Especially at that time, because I was, you know, at that time, I was, uh, was engineering out of my apartment. Okay. In my little studio in the living room. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I would have people come over and yeah. get their vocals done, and I would try to buy the song. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it would turn into a whole, you know, a whole shindig. Yeah. So um, I came from living like that. It taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. but I didn't, I didn't know how to um, grasp becoming a new father yeah. at that time. Or just letting that lifestyle go. Because sure. that, I was so used to living it. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I didn't thing. have my baby until I was 30. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, yeah, you, you waited. That was, a, that was a decent time to wait. You, yeah, you get your definitely. little shit off in your 20s or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I enjoyed it. It was good to me, but. Yeah. He got old. No, like for sure. I had a kid. You know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Hell yeah. Because, see, I had my son at 20, so it was like, oh. <laughs> early. Yeah, yeah. Early. probably feel like you was missing out on no, this. No, actually, though, like, low key, my mom, though, was shit, man. She's still made, so I can still, you know, do what I got to do. I, I'll take care of my kid. Like I said, my mom worked the midnight shift, though. You know what I'm saying? And I could call my son. 
the midnight shift. So <laughs> I take him, I take him over there. I do my thing, but during the day I got my son. Everybody know my son because he's with me from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. Hmm. Then this shit, time I turn up, I be, hey mom, you got me? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, saying? That's what's up. Yeah, you got on, you got a village. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure, hell yeah. But no, salute to you though, bro. That fatherhood, that shit, it bring the best out of you too. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely. You know, it's always gonna bring some shout out to you. And when you got those little girls, cause I got a girl, she beat three in December. And it's like, nigga, it bring like some softness in you. Like, damn, yeah. you cry about her, her getting her hair, like, damn, her hair get long. Like, nah, <laughs> I cried probably, when I noticed I probably got a little more sensitive mm -hmm. is when like, um, she started like just walking. Cause Hell she yeah. didn't crawl. Yeah. She like, she didn't like the whole idea of crawling, so sure. one day she just got up and and she got an older brother too. Okay. You know, so I got a son as well, yeah. but he's six years older. Mm -hmm. So it's like she kind of tried to keep up with him. Mm -hmm. Hell for sure. Yeah, yeah. Now, that was my first, I think, most sensitive moment. Other than that, nah, it's like yeah. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> somebody sure. sent you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for, <laughs> for sure. real, yeah, somebody yeah. sent you. I but know somebody sent you. Just staying on that sensitive shit, bro. What ask niggas? When the last time they cried? What was the reason? Mine is your daughter. Oh, might say anybody died, cause I'm no, like, I was about to say funeral. Yeah, cause yeah. death is yeah, like like yeah, yeah. might somebody die, like what's some shit you cry about, like bro, what the fuck, uh, like um, too hard for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, all right, so yeah, that one right there. We dude. put together um, we put together some music, right? Now right. at this time, cause now I'm getting a little more season. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And. We put together. I wanted to put together some some music, mm. right? But I wanted to make sure that the body of work sounded, you know, what I'm saying good. Because with me engineering too, it's not just the sound. It's I still want to express a certain side of me I never really opened up about. For sure. And shit, that's how me and him kind of we, you know, we put that put our heads together. Came up with Breeze too. Mm -hmm. Well, now when we finally dropped it. I was getting such a crazy response because at first I was still nervous about dropping. I'm like, we gonna drop it on SoundCloud. Like, yeah, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And on SoundCloud, it touched almost like three to four hundred in like probably what, like a week, something yeah. like that. It was crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, but I don't really, you know, I, it's certain licensing we gotta get. I'm all thinking the business part. Mm -hmm. He say, it's good, Doug. I said, what the <laughs> hell is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop that shit, Mo. For sure. I said, all right, well, let's <laughs> fuck it. Let's do all right, babe. Yeah, yeah. Let's all right, fuck it. So we went on and um, we dropped it and the response I got, bro, I was so proud of myself. No, for because sure. not only just was it the music, it's becoming a new father. Because mm -hmm. I got my own personal studio too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm able to drop, but I'm used to being able to drop three, four, three to five songs a day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Not since I had a child, it's spaced out. Yeah, it's so sometimes I had to find a new balance. I had to find other things to do to occupy my time mm -hmm. to where I don't feel like I run the music because then I had to realize me doing that too much is neglecting my responsibilities. Exactly. Yep. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So to be able to come up with all that, mix it, master it, put it out, mm -hmm. get the response I was getting, mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. I was I, I was proud of myself. Man. I was driving to work and we was talking about it. I got the phone with him, dog, and it was just like... <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right. No. I'm gonna I'm give it. A, I'm gonna give them all. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So I, I'm. I'm. I'm taking it was. A, it was a point in time that you wanted to give up on the music shit. Not necessarily uh, give up. Just probably take a different role. Okay. Because I love music. Like mm -hmm. I probably always do something in music. Mm -hmm. But as far as being an artist first. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah, yeah. because everything I learned started with me trying to be an artist first. Yeah, hell yeah. Engineering. I just when nobody record me, mm -hmm. or sometimes they'd be tired. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck it. I learned how to do it myself. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, got to, got yeah. to, dog. Cause you waiting on niggas. You like what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Even with graphics, I went to Specs Howard just to use their laptop and yeah. I had to do Photoshop and all that shit by myself. Oh, shit, that's you dope. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Or it, 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 I, yeah, and then even when the bullfrog was open, I was up there three, four times a week. <laughs> For sure, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even check, and I was going, you know, yeah. like I was going so much, just trying to perfect my craft. So being an artist. The journey of being an artist, it kind of, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, like, man. It, it taught me everything I know now. So I can't neglect it, but I just sure. want to probably take, take a different road. Man, I miss trying to be a rapper, dog. <laughs> that was some good days, dog. Yeah. You feel me? Putting out shit that you thought was fire, but it probably wasn't that fire. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> but it was harder to put out music back then. Now everything yeah. is like, you can oh, no. get a song from your phone. Like, no, for sure. Hell yeah. like, it was hard to get everything on Apple Music and man. iTunes. Spotify. Hey, we, we had to go hand in hand. Hell we had yeah. to get him rap for a nigga and give him a CD. Bro, for sure. For real. I'll drop this on MySpace. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> God, 
That's the first time that nigga heard my song, bro. My hey dog. Let's go to your mom's page, page, dog. Go to my page and listen to my song. Man. Nigga, I just knew I was gonna blow up, bro. Knew it. Yeah, soldier boy made it seem so easy. Dog, dude. he did, nigga. Man, Niggas wrong. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Esther wrong, dog. What's some shit that's, that's still holding you back, bro? It could be in life, with music, you know what I'm saying? What's some shit that you need to work on that still might be holding you back a little bit? Um, like, how, mm, I can't say nothing is necessarily holding us back, it's, it's aside of funding. Because mm -hmm. funding it with your personal, is that shit, <clears throat> it comes with argue. It, it's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. You can't have a family at home and be like, hey, I just spent 500 on this video. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the groceries. I know, you. exactly. Feel me out, though. Feel yeah, me yeah. out. Yeah. I just spent a thousand with for show sure mag and hopefully something catch from that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll charge a thousand a feature. Yeah. How many features you get? Two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, sure. so it's like not funding is the biggest aspect. So it's like really, um, so I, that got me into learning about credit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's probably the biggest thing is having to learn that when I probably should have learned it earlier. Man, that's what I'm saying. Imagine if you learned that shit early on, like how you think life would be for you, bro. Cause nigga, my credit was so I was just fucking my credit up left and right, not knowing like. This shit is important, though. Yeah, I did, because in our area that we came from, man, it was money, having money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, your credit is key. Bro, For that real. shit is key as hell, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't went through apartments, and then ain't motherfucking fulfilling the time of that bitch. You sit here, you know what I'm saying, moving out because you can't afford to rent no more. Yeah. That's, man, that's fucking with the credit. Nigga, mm -hmm. that car nigga get repo. Damn, that oh, motherfucker. That's fucking <laughs> credit. Yeah, that's it's so much. It's, man. Man, dog. My, my credit is so bad, I'm looking at that bitch. I'm going to cry. You talking about crying? <laughs> I can't get shit. I need a motherfucking co signed on cable, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that's it. For the butt, you do need to like, you like teach these kids at a young age about that shit, bro. Like, yeah, smart them, decisions. How to use it. Mm -hmm. Good debt, bad debt. Mm -hmm. I thought as soon as you hear debt, I answer like, hell no. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, and then too, investing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Smart investments. Because yeah. even your energy, your time, that's an investment in itself. Mm -hmm. You know Not what I'm saying? For sure. So I think do you, that, I say that might be. Do you got niggas that like invest in you as far as your music? Uh, it's me and Mel. <laughs> it's yeah, me yeah. and my nigga Mel. Yeah, yeah. Like I got people that like give their energy to it. They get input. They invest in other ways. But as far as like mm -hmm. investing, just like overall, this is what we talk about it day in and day out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? For real. Like, that's why I say you would have thought that he was on these records as well. For sure, for you know sure. I know Melo got 16 somewhere in his motherfucking pocket. Nah. <laughs> he <laughs> might, but he's so cool, he might not even let you know. He got, <laughs> he'll let you have it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For real, just probably rub his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, burn me in that motherfucking dog. Hell yeah. yeah. What's the worst advice and best advice you received, bro? The worst advice? Yeah. The best advice. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't look at no advice as the worst advice. Oh, for real? You know what I'm saying? No, I think it just depends on how you use it for real. No, for sure. You know, like, it, it's really just how you use it for real. So, shit, I be thankful a motherfucker want to give me some advice. <laughs> yeah, no, so, advice. A lot of people won't tell you shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, for real. Nigga, like, my, I'm looking for my shoes. They'll look at your shoe and still look at you looking no. for your shoes. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, no, for sure. So, no, I, I'm appreciative that you even care about me there, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Now you being thirty two, what's what, what's some advice you got for for the younger people coming up? Like, what's some shit that they should go ahead and, and go about if it's if it's being a father, if it's being an artist? Like, what's your advice for them? Um, well, being a father, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm still a, I'm, I'm two years in, and I can't really. Man. I think it's just like you'll know like what to do. Mm -hmm. It'll be natural. It'll be natural. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as like just being a man, see the world, mm -hmm. take your time, don't get too much into anything. Just like and realize everything temporary. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, for and sure. Just keep growing yeah. and evolve. Yeah. If you stay the same, eventually it'll look corny. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you say shit stay temporary. Yeah, it do, but sometimes when you in those temporary moments, that shit feel like a man. Like, no, but it's temporary because you're supposed to grow. No, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like if you driving a motherfucking hoopty, mm -hmm. eventually you want a new car. Yeah, for you sure. Me? But you still driving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you never driving. stop driving. Yep, yep. Me, so I still. think a lot of times niggas they don't like you said you still driving, but niggas ain't thinking about it. you still driving. They think about what they ain't got. Like you be complaining about where you stay at. You got a crib, it could be worse. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Niggas never think about how shit could be worse. They don't appreciate the shit that they got you right now. Give yourself grace, mm -hmm. gratitude, mm -hmm. for real. 
Once you learn to do that, life all right. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, because I be complaining about my shit, then I go look on something like, damn, they fucked up right now. Like, and nigga, like, you, I don't, sometimes I don't appreciate, like, shit, you can pay these bills. Some niggas can't even afford to pay them bills. Yeah, some people can't even put their name on shit. Like you just saying, like, some people can't, you got to rely on somebody to do everything. No, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? So, and some people ain't got to drive. Yeah. And it's just, that's what it is. Some yeah. people just ain't got to drive. Girl, girl got her name on everything, so now she controlling shit. <laughs> you pay all bills, but nigga, she can put your ass out. That be their favorite ones, man. <laughs> man. Their favorite one, they can control. Them. No, for you sure, for sure. Yeah. Craig ain't got shit. Mm -hmm. It's my name on this bitch, like you know what I'm saying. I create fucked up, dog. <laughs> 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 on the streets and shit, dog. All this money ain't got nothing to show though. Her name on this motherfucker, dog. Answer the car from you and shit. <laughs> He could bounce back though. No, you for sure. Sure. He could bounce no, back. No, for sure. You gotta bounce back, Craig. There's more yeah. women than men. You know what I'm saying? No, he for just sure. Find another one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What was the first adult decision you made? Like, damn, I'm grown. Like, nigga. My first, when I realized I was with a dog, like, yeah. like first yeah. thing, I, shit. Since I was a teenager, I felt like I was a dog. I was working and going to high school. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? I had a job and it was in like 10th grade. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, what so was you working at, dog? What was that, that that job that you had? Chicken, Popeyes. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> fucking with that bird. <laughs> <laughs> fucking with that bird. I fried the fuck out some chicken. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just you know, and then still trying to play sports at the same time. So okay, yeah, that's when I as soon as I started thinking like that, I was grown. You yeah. tell me shit. No, for sure. Yeah, you get your own little money and stuff, mm -hmm. dog. You, so you was, you were playing sports. Like, what were you doing? Uh, basketball. Uh, could, could you hoop or could you hoop? No, I could hoop. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Hoop. Yeah, what was your specialty? Like, if somebody, if you, if defense. I pick you, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm. So you like shit up. Yeah, you yeah, had you nigga, got a little nigga, bit of nigga, defense, bad. and we in the front court, we like shit up. For sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For you, had, sure. you had hoop dreams growing up? Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. At what age though do you realize like, damn, I got cancer and shit? Cause me, once I got like, damn, I ain't growing. Like I'm still five eight. <laughs> like, and then like um, grades start fucking. I'm like, yeah, this whole drinks ain't for me. Dude. My grades ain't right. <laughs> um, I say about high school, my senior year, mm -hmm. my senior year, because I had um my grades was fucked up prior switching mm -hmm. to a new school and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I had my first uh, 30 point game in middle school. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, for real. I think going crazy. Playing for Joe D. Hell I played yeah. for Joe D for uh, Fieldhouse, a little travel team. And oh, shit. for real? Yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah. yeah. It was a poor shit. I had some busted ass ones. <laughs> I'm hitting all type of shit. I'm doing shit. I'm, that's when I knew I'm like, oh, I could probably go somewhere with this shit. Cause I had to grow spur early. Yeah. So I thought I was going to be tall. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Middle school, I was looking over niggas and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to high school and realized I wasn't that tall. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. I'm like, damn. Yeah, it's some bullshit. But I could jump too. You feel me? Yeah. And then, like, you know, defense went, but then, you know, dealing with uh, different coaches and different mm -hmm. coaching styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, when I did play though, JV year, we got a, uh, we won a tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, I done won a couple championships and shit. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just when I didn't get picked up my senior year. Yeah. But that's because I was working too. I didn't want to give up making money. For sure. So it's like I was hooping, but it came second nature to me too. I kind of just. Yeah, like, do I just give up on this check yeah. and then go hoop? Like, you know but what I'm saying? So I had a good tryout. And when I did, when I got cut, niggas was sick. Man. Like, what? Man. But they kind of had their shit going on, so it was just like at that point, that's when I knew, like, all right, I'm yeah, fuck to do something. Hell yeah. I was already uh, fucking around with music at that time anyway, too. Okay. I had just started. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you want to introduce yourself to to the world, uh, but you're going to use a song or an album, bro, what would that song or album be that's going to tell me about you? Hmm. So deep as shit, deep bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Ooh, shit. No, sir. Um, you gotta give me a second on that. <laughs> get it out of it. everybody album. Yeah, what's one yeah, yeah, that one touch you? Right? Like on, on my, you know, on my broke days, I uh, slipping, it's slipping for me, dog. You know what I'm saying? DMS slipping. I'm like, damn. All right. Out of my whole. Life. <laughs> that's the part that's hard. Out of my whole life, cause you know you change so much. All right, give me, give me segments then. Give me, give me segments. Yeah, like it could be like from your your twenties okay. or your right now or your. Childhood. Growing up, I remember uh, K 
California. Uh, what was that shit uh, with Tupac and Dre? Oh, yeah, California, California Love. California Love. Yeah. I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my sister used to rock out to that shit. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, uh, sure. And I remember I used to uh, hum the beat. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I would yeah. walk around humming that shit all day. For sure. So I think that would be the start. Mm hmm. After that, I had to say, I went through a phase, you had to say, like, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. um, that um, What the fuck song was it? Oh, Mini Man. Okay. Mini Hell, Man. Hell yeah. Shit, man. Classic. Because, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. By that point, I was in middle school. That sure. type of shit. Niggas wearing do-rags. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Do-rags and hats and Dumb, shit. For sure. Like, they got out of prison. You feel me? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Everybody had to do right hat, nigga. This nigga for sure got out of prison, nigga, with, with a phone clip. <laughs> with a phone clip. <laughs> Them nigga just got out of jail, nigga, yesterday. <laughs> nigga, like, yeah, nigga, my girl got me a phone clip. Um, Fucking half in the stove. That bitch say east side on there. Like, <laughs> ain't even got Detroit, so that bitch just say east side. <laughs> with a do rag and that bitch, nigga got the motherfucking cape down, nigga. <laughs> Like that nigga, no, he could have had a flap out. That nigga will kill you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta watch the niggas with the dude. Yeah, that nigga will straight murder your dumb ass. Yeah, yeah something ain't right with that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but no, then after that, I would have to go. I start going back. I had to say Ludacris, Chicken and Beer. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. You feel me? Super throwback, yeah. And, um, Tupac, All Eyes on Me. Mm hmm. Goddamn. It's, yeah, that's what I say. It's you so many. Yeah, I went through so many phases. Yeah, yeah. And my life was like growing up was kind of you know, so I went through so many different phases to mm -hmm. where it's like I couldn't even I couldn't pick just one. For album. sure, no, for sure, for sure. Now, I pick just one outside of music, outside of hooping, what's something you wanted to be as a as a youngin that you never told nobody? It could have been like for a month. Like I wanted to tap dance, bro. Bad as fuck. <laughs> Like, I want to tap dance, nigga. I want the motherfucker. I, I want. I want to play the piano, nigga. So I can fuck with you on the piano. Yeah. I don't think I ever got hey, nigga. tap dance. I had an uncle that tap dance. He was cold. <laughs> but how that nigga looked. <laughs> <laughs> that Dog, that shit it look, couldn't be me. That shit be looking sweet, bro. That no, like, don't tap your <laughs> ass off. But your hands and shit, you don't know what to do with hell your body. Exactly. Your nigga feet just moving fast as hell. No, no, when oh, I was man. a good seven, nigga, I wanted to tap my ass off, bro. You for real? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I said, I, nigga. Shit. But you is seven years older than me, so tap dancing. You had that nigga with the dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. Savion Glover. Yeah, yeah yep. Savion. Yep. So yeah, I remember some of that shit. Wanted to be a wrestler and shit. Was it? Nah, I ain't never wanted to be a wrestler. Oh, nigga, I wanted the motherfucker to do that shit. My if I'm finish move is gonna be a DDT off the top ropes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that my finisher, bro. Nigga, I, that nigga try to kill, kill a nigga with that bitch, nigga. <laughs> DDT, bam, bam yeah, fuck you up, off the yeah. top, nigga. No, I think I probably um. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, that was a daily move in that bitch, nigga. DDT, nigga, where? This is, you know, off the top, nigga. <laughs> ha, nigga. <laughs> that was my shit, bro. Oh, man. But shit, we had no top row, so it'd be off the top bump, nigga, yeah. on that bitch. <laughs> ah, nigga. Yeah, no, I don't think I ever did that. Uh, probably um, got into po get into politics. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always felt like that was, like, where the real... Um, Mm -hmm. Business really take off for sure. Corporate, you know what I'm saying? That type of corporation. All right, nigga. Right now, you running Detroit. What's the first thing you'll do, dog? You in office? What's the first thing you gonna you gonna do to improve this motherfucking city, dog? We need um first fix these damn streets. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, for real. We owe people money. No, <laughs> Hell yeah. for real. We owe people money. We had to fix the streets. Uh, get these kids something to do. Mm -hmm. More events. You know what I'm saying? That they can actually touch without having to go to the suburbs. No, fast. Super um, fast on that shit. And bring more, um, and bring like more jobs. You feel me? Like more warehouse type stuff, more mm -hmm. stuff. Or, because they already got the hotels. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We bring another type of business and start making downtown look like, mm -hmm. or make this start looking like downtown. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because everything is in downtown. They yeah. look good. Which like, is cool. But yeah. we needed to bleed out. For sure. We That's needed a fact. to bleed out because if you take if you give us nicer stuff, we I think we at the point now where we probably will take care of it. No. Most likely we'll we will take yeah, care of it. Yeah, we do a little bit better though. I'm seeing these parks out here looking good and shit, bro. Yeah. Like we definitely need more rec centers and shit, bro. Like Well, it's like we need to do we need to have events though, like how we used to have um 
uh, the YBL league at St. Cecilia. Mm -hmm. We need more stuff like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then just opportunities for them. Like, yeah. you know, have people come with more camps and more. It ain't got to be just all sports. You could do chess. Do yeah. like, you feel me? Engineering programs, mm -hmm. tech programs, all that type of stuff. Some shit that they can go ahead and take in, into the real world, real life and shit, yeah. dog. Barber you know school shit, dog. Credit yeah. repair, all that. You know what I'm saying? Or being, learning how to do that. Lawyer stuff. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Stuff like that. I think it's happening already. It's just. We just needed to bleed out here. For sure, man. Mike Brown from there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, dog, you already kind of said, you know, of course, everybody will come on show you from the west side, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> east side. Because I stay on the west side now. I think I ain't even east side no more. My wife, man, fuck it. Fuck that. <laughs> I was going to say fuck her. I'm sorry. <laughs> but fuck that. <laughs> I was about to say fuck her. Like, man, fuck her. Because I got me on the west side. <laughs> But no, though, talk about growing up, bro. Who was in the crib with you, man? Like, how was it being a young Mike Brown? Uh, growing up, it was uh, me, my mom, and my two sisters. Okay. Um, it was. It was. It wasn't the worst. Yeah. But it was tough. Okay. It was tough. I grew up on uh, Mansfield at the time. Now it's a block where people was. Um, Doing their thing on it, mm -hmm. so we learned to like get below the windows yeah. at a certain time for sure because we knew it was gonna be shoot. Yeah. You feel me? And we'd be watching cartoons like it's normal. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I lost my first best friend off of something similar like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. In fifth grade. Yeah. So um, it it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was real tough, and I was the oldest of three. Okay. You know what I'm so saying? So you protect sister, you gotta protect them and shit, yeah. man. And then my mom only five feet even. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Me? My mom was, yeah, yeah. You know, so, and I had a gross perf young, so I instantly had to step up and, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mind you, I told you, I started working at 16. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like before then, that's just how it was. For sure. Was you that uh, brother that that was held to deal with if, you, if your sister got somebody that she talking to? No. Yeah. No, me and my sister's are close in age. Okay. Like, I'm. 32 my sister uh the middle sister korea she's 31 okay and my sister kayla is about to be 30. okay so okay we all kind of, oh yeah y'all back so to i back couldn't to really back. too much bully them like that i mean or, not you bully could them, a little bit a little bit yeah. they girls <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah as far as like i'm talking about not bullying them bullying the dudes yeah no nah, because a lot <laughs> of times it was just the only rule was if you my man's you can't talk to my sister if Facts. we gonna be friends and you can't talk to my sister okay okay <laughs> because i might have to take it <laughs> yeah for sure yeah for real, you can't be doing just, my sister dirty and shit though yeah, making her cry nah, nah. hell yeah man i'm i always say hell i talk to a girl you got a brother oh god damn <laughs> I think older dog. Now, where I come from, it was if you, she had a daddy. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, your dad. Damn. Yeah. Or if you in the house, if yeah. you stay with her dad. You call, they got, oh, how you doing, Mr. Jones? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hang up. <laughs> for sure. Now, uh, how about your relationship with your pops? If you don't want to speak on that shit, tell me shut the fuck up. No, I speak on it. No. I yeah, like, how was your relationship it. with your pops? Like, you say he wasn't in the crib. Like, he these... wasn't there. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, I didn't meet my dad until I was 26 years old. Oh, shit. You feel me? Yeah. So, um, I mean, he cool, but I don't, we don't really know for each sure. other for real. When you met him, was it like, did you want to fight him? Did you want to get understanding? Like when I was younger, I always had thought I'd be like, you know, I'm on his, I'm on him. Yeah, you know for sure. When I met, met him, but when I finally met him, especially being 26, I started was I was already in the transition of trying to change because mm -hmm. I avoided getting locked up and getting in deep, real trouble. For sure. So I wanted to start changing how I was moving. Yeah, hell yeah. And um, so when I met him. A little anger came, you know yeah, what I'm saying? But sure, no, yeah. but I was uh, grown enough to just like, let me fill him out first. Because mm -hmm. I really don't know him. As, I was thinking just as a person. I really don't know who he is for sure. as a man. Like, So I could fuck around and try him, and he probably used to be a shooter. Yeah, no, you feel yeah, me? No, like, fast. Yeah, for real. Yeah. That's a Marvin Gaye daddy. No, for, no, no, Marvin yeah. Marvin Gaye daddy kill him, nigga. For sure. You can't go around to testing people. Yeah. What the fuck going on? Don't know what's still going on. We yeah. didn't grow up together. You exactly. Know what I, mean? like, I don't know what you can't of at all. Hey, you, know, you know what I'm saying? saying? You know what I'm saying? So it's a certain level of respect you got to have as a, for, for a human just mm -hmm. like being a person. Like, mm -hmm. So I just kind of, you know. Yeah. So after that meeting, y'all never like really kind of like, hey, we going to kick it, son. We going to get this relationship well, going. I kicked it with him, uh, I think probably the year after on Father's Day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And... I grabbed me a little half a pint of hand. Mm -hmm. I had like a quarter on me. Went over there and smoked this shit out. He grabbed him his little wine. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we was able to shop it. Yeah. I was able to uh, actually get to know who he was and stuff like that and make my actual judgment now versus how I felt. For sure. Growing. Yeah, back then. Yeah. Hey, now you good with that side of the family? Like as far as like uncles, aunties, you know what I'm saying? It's awkward. Okay. It's awkward. Yeah. Um, because how we met, man. 
you know what I'm saying, and the time that we met, because by the time I met them, they all had, I got nieces and nephews. Man. Yeah, like, for I sure. I don't even know how to be there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to hold a baby. I ain't know how to hold a baby until <laughs> yeah. I had my own. Yeah, for, for sure. Real. No, I didn't watch people kids. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, in but, the street. I for sure. Outside. And shit, I just don't want to hold nobody else's kids. They're like, yeah, I'm good. Like, no. Nah, <laughs> so it was, you know, so I think, I think we cordial. Mm -hmm. I think we cordial. We, I got one sister. She don't fuck with none of us. She don't yeah. fuck that. Yeah, no, for sure. You but got all that. of us, is, it's all spaced out. It's like, it's just a... It's a, it's a work in progress. For sure. Yeah, for sure, shit. For sure, man. Some people never ever meet their father at all, so... No, nah, for real. They even know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm, I'm quite sure, because a lot of times when you ain't got no father growing up, that only make you want to be a better father to your kids. Definitely. You feel me? So Because that shit that you might have been lacking, whatever... Do you feel like if he was wrong, things would be different for you growing up, though? Like, th I think things is how they supposed to be. For sure, how you it plays out, how it was. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't really, you know, I, me thinking like that used to make me resent a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It'll keep you angry. Mm -hmm. So I just changed my mindset. It is what it is. Hell yeah, like, man. I know I'm not. No, I'm for sure. I'm not, so it's like, cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Shout out to the fathers, man. You know what I'm saying? Being your kids like this shit, man. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I can't just imagine, like, having my kids just walking off on the door. My cousin... And people I know like they who do that shit I'm like damn that shit kind of I don't know I was gonna do that yeah, shit bro because first I don't want no other nigga raise my kids and then I just don't want them niggas like just growing up without me I don't know what the fuck their mama gonna be on you know what I'm saying yeah that's the thing <laughs> it's like not without me I, every I can't even process the uh, thought of them not having me around hell yeah I can't even process it. now when this music shit became start becoming some shit that you wanted to do for real like when um, this shit when it was something like damn like I want to fuck with this music heavy for sure when I was about. 16. Mm -hmm. I had first recorded a song with my cousin, mm -hmm. and um, he had an ironing board, nigga, <laughs> with a little microphone speaker right there. You couldn't touch the ironing board because yeah, you had to, you feel me? Yeah. Nigga, we recorded, and I made a song called Put the Money in the Bag by <laughs> Robbing the Bank. Yeah, you yeah, yeah for sure. And um, it was like a whole, we made like a movie out of it. Like we started off with a plot, the intro, and all that shit. We treated it like a book. Mm -hmm. So that, that concept alone was like, oh shit. I was already in the writing. My mom used to do poetry. Okay. You feel me? So, um, yeah, about 16, but then taking it to another level. Because mm -hmm. I went through a phase, I was just going to the studio and mm -hmm. loving that aspect. Yeah. But uh, taking it to another level, I say about 27. Okay. 27 because that's when i went on and uh, bought my own equipment okay so before that it was kind of like you was in it but you wasn't in it for no, sure i was in it yeah. i was in it I, I, I was in it like a motherfucker yeah, for, yeah, real. Yeah, like, yeah. About, <laughs> for real like it's just like the trials and then it's like just the mindset and mm -hmm. understanding because then i start by the time i got about 26 27 mm -hmm. i started understanding like okay this is a business yeah. i started thinking it was like one hit song and nigga you good yeah you gone yeah you, you take it off so, nigga i was making what I was one of the team records with uh, Gladiator, yeah. and I was um up there recording. In three months, I made like sixty three songs. Damn, Going you feel crazy. me? Yeah. Mind you, this is his studio, and then he offered like you know we talked about some type of uh working and stuff. And it never really went through. Mm -hmm. it, our relationship cool though, mm -hmm. and um and I went through a phase trying to do it myself. And I thought, okay, if I perform, somebody will see me. For sure. Like, how to do one of the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga, that's not how that shit Hell yeah, like, oh, I see. Hey, dog, I saw you perform it, bro. Yeah, Come I mean, you, you develop, like, knowing people. Yeah. Like, I ended up meeting a lot of people going and performing and trying to do my own show. Then I took it, I tried to do a show and took a loss. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and that shit hurt it so bad. Yeah. Oh, man. man. That shit was some bullshit. But it's just like, with music, is no real blueprint. You no. feel me? So it's no. like, but you got to keep reinventing yourself. That's why I be saying like different phases. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no blueprint at all because your, your, your way going to be your way, my way going to be my way. Mm -hmm. And if you cry, maybe my style, that shit might not work for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or shit, it might. Yeah, it just, you like, never know. You never know. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, you never know, bro. You never know, dog. So you say your mom was into poetry. So you, yeah. Was you writing poems? No, I kind of just end off with it, getting into rap. By the okay. time I start rhyming stuff, I, I start liking rapping more. I mean, poetry, dope. I, I yeah. will write a poem and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She was then she would go perform and bring back trophies and shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell she, yeah. Her her dream was to be on Def uh, Poetry Jam. For sure, that would be dope. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah that was her dream. So. Hell yeah. Who who's the first person to tell you you was dope? Like, oh shit, I'm sweet for real. <laughs> I think oh she fuck with this. <laughs> Damn, he might give me that confidence. To, you know what I'm saying? I think my sisters. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Cause when I seen the Eight Mile movie, I got to the point where I just wanted to like. <laughs> <laughs> it just seemed so sweet. You yeah, feel me? Like oh, these niggas are talking that talk. By then, I already was like into music. I was writing it, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to like 
deliver it mm-hmm. all the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I think probably my sisters yeah. and then, like, my cousins and shit. For sure. What, what's your studio vibe? Like, what's, your, what's some shit did you, like, when you in the studio, what, how, how that shit need to be? Like, you need certain things, certain people. Like, how that shit is? Shit, just give me an ashtray and a blunt. Yeah. Got you, a little something to sip. Yeah. And a phone. For sure. You feel me? And after that, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. 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 I, like, sometimes, like, if I could put something in there, the extra, probably, like, some pictures, shit, mm-hmm. that remind me of where I'm at. Mm-hmm. And, like, one of them, you know, like, them little galaxy lights. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, like oh, that uh, shit on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking about something else. I'm thinking about that shit on, um, <laughs> what's that, Whoop That Trick movie? <laughs> That's what I'm oh, yeah, that nigga talked the lava lamp. Yeah. <laughs> No, like that's a real bitch right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga brought that lava lamp. Nigga changed the whole shit. Like, it's real bitch, man. <laughs> Do it for her, man. <laughs> that was my shit, dog. I don't know what the fuck that lava lamp did, bro. But it that was, shit turned them up, nigga. <laughs> it was a vibe for it. Like, that, I had to just picture back how I had my uh, when I had the apartment studio. Yeah. Duh. That shit, I had like a little. I didn't use regular light bulbs. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And like the little galaxy light, it's like a projector. Yeah. Angle that bitch. <laughs> and that bitch just set a little vibe on that motherfucker. Yeah, like that's that bitch, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl got happy. She had that job. Turn the fans off. That's my job. <laughs> like I want something to do, DJ. I want something. Like she was mad as hell. Oh, girl, sing her ass off. <laughs> uh, uh, what's my girl name? Damn, my girl no, Taraji. Taraji sing her ass off on that bitch. Motherfucker, my my man making the beats, white boy in the beats and shit. Hell yeah. Like, I want something to do. That was a, <laughs> yeah. All right, bitch, you gonna turn the motherfucking fan up. <laughs> <laughs> dog, that was a fucking funny ass movie, low key, dog. No, it was. That what, shit was class. What's, a, what's another rap movie that you fuck with heavy, bro? I know you said Eight Mile and shit. Uh, shit, that might be one day, huh? For you. Nah, uh, let me see. Another rap movie? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, the NWA movie. That oh, bitch was hard as hell. Hell yeah. Hell that yeah. bitch was hard. Because, you know, they, it was a lot of stories about NWA with, uh, NWA, yeah. with, with it being so far. Uh-huh. You know, And then I'm a 90s baby. I ain't know nothing about that shit. For like, sure. I heard about it, so being able to see it. Go back, yeah. Now I know you going back and listen to the music and shit. Going, mm-hmm. Yeah, dog. Yeah. I'm quite sure they strange went crazy when that movie had came out. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Them niggas ice cube on tour now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> duh. Really? That's that bitch, man. That bitch got lava lap, man. <laughs> we about to blow up. That nigga say, you ain't do that shit, skinny. Like, that nigga threw that motherfucking tape away. Like, skinny, yeah. tell me you ain't do that shit, man. <laughs> that nigga was mad as hell. Nigga said, fuck your tape, man. <laughs> that nigga beat his ass, yeah, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Nigga had DJ and everybody. Nigga said, "What two nigga? nigga come man, <laughs> that nigga tell me you do that shit, man." <laughs> that nigga said, "Oh, that toilet, like, you know, we gonna be doing this shit on tour, nigga." Like, <laughs> dog, that nigga had got his motherfucking curl, dog. Hell yeah, they got that good weed. They was and out shit. there talking that shit dog. to each other too. I, said, I thought they was fucking with each dog, other. That nigga sure. flushed that nigga shit. You know, we like, <laughs> like, I ain't come back, come back, nigga. <laughs> Like, come back, skinny man. <laughs> dog, that was my shit, bro. I'm gonna go home and watch that shit as soon as I get to the crib, bro. <laughs> that was my shit, dog. Now, dog, with, with your beats and shit, bro, how you go about picking beats? Because listen to your project, nigga, shit, you got some good, some good selections. Um, That's probably the most difficult process, though, because a lot of uh, people, is, you know, with music being uh, pop, very popular, a lot of people use the same type of instruments and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I got a bunch of songs. Yeah. So it's a lot of times I don't want to fall into sounding the same or For the sure. same type of beats. Yeah. So shit, we down there vote them bitches in and out. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I call that nigga on video like, hey, bro, I got some beats. Right, He's like, all right, let's, let's hear them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if it don't move or, you know what I'm saying? And we get to the point where we adjust and Mm-hmm. We take that bitch like it's ours and before we even make it ours for real. Yeah, hell yeah. For real. Hell yeah. Now January thirteenth this year you had drop breeze too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You said you was you was happy about the love it it, it got whatever you, you feel like you could have did a little bit more to promote it. You could have did a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, to bring some attraction to it. Definitely. And definitely. so what 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 what's some shit that you would have done differently as far as your uh you know what I'm saying, you dropping the project? Um Ideally, right? Mm-hmm. Put more money behind the marketing. Okay. Advertising, um, do the videos before we drop the project. Yeah, that way we can have more shit to where even if the numbers start dropping, boom, they go another video to bring the attraction back to it. Hell yeah. Um, 
get uh, merchandise on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That way, and then have a landing spot as far as a website. That For way, sure. we could have something to make our money back off of. And Hell yeah. people that want to support mm-hmm. the option to support and give them a, like, a little membership. So where they could get some exclusive tracks as well, just to build a no, customer yeah. relationship. No, that'd be dope. Hell yeah! So you that's some shit that you probably gonna do on the next on the next oh, go around. Yeah. That, that's that's already in work. That's why I'm able For to sure. talk about it like that. Now give me your top three tracks off the tape. I give you mine. Mine's is uh, don't you know? Uh, hear me, nigga, and deep in. What's your shit? I like um, understood. Mm. Go and get it. Okay. And. <laughs> yeah, I had to say run through. <laughs> run Hell yeah! Through. Now you got a couple a couple features on there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Talk about like picking features and like, do you reach out to these big names in the city? If so, do they be like kind of like nigga charging like, oh man, nigga, give me five thousand and shit? Like you know, no. well, niggas, be, <laughs> niggas be taxing niggas yeah. like bro. Like how you, how you go about picking features and shit? Uh, I understand his levels, so mm-hmm. it's like when I pick features, I pick people I I, I kind of see already doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't really go for the big names. I go for the people that's kind of like I try to find my tribe. Okay, you feel me? yeah, so for sure. If we got a similar sound or we you got a similar beat selection and shit like that, mm-hmm. client. Not that I can't rap with anybody. I'm just real picky with how I make because it's deeper than just rapping. For sure, for sure. Do you got some people though who who, who got a, you know big name in the city that you want to work with? Yeah, hell yeah, I work with them damn there. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I had to say Ray. For sure. Um, Vezo. Mm-hmm. Peasy. Um, payroll. Yeah, for sure, payroll. Hell yeah. Payroll. Um, because I think the type of music I make, I, I could bring a certain type of art out of certain people it's yeah. not that they don't like to rap like that it's just they got they already know what the yeah. time people want from no them. yeah so i think if i was able to build a relationship and make them come to my world we'll yeah. probably make i can rap with anybody hell yeah for real yeah. no no do you music. do you charge niggas for features um i have before yeah. depending on who you are and what you're doing with it for sure you for know sure. what i'm saying because i'm more so into building a relationship mm-hmm. you know are you taxing niggas <laughs> no, if I feel like I gotta tax you, I'm probably not gonna do the feature. Yeah, because some, <laughs> some people be like, yeah, for for thirty days only, I'm only, I'm only, I'm only charging four hundred for a feature. Like, damn, what the fuck have you yeah. done? Yeah, but some people got a little emotion though. It's like yeah. some people still get booked because then you got the people that's on the next level, like the. Um, let me see. It's I ain't I can't say no names. It's specific. Yeah, but um, you got some people that's kind of. You'll see them in certain clubs. For sure. Get walk, paid for walkthroughs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so for you sure. at that point and you ask for money, I can't knock you. Okay, okay, yeah. You but if you saying? ain't... But if you ain't... You, you know what I'm saying? Stop you it, ain't stop even it. got a, a song. I can't even say on the radio, but you ain't got a... You ain't getting a YouTube check. Yeah, for sure. Your music for and sure. No che- I'm not paying. You ain't getting no, no traction talking about some... Yeah, in the summer special, 300. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let this shit pass you. <laughs> like, yeah. like, bro, no. I'm good, I had a, uh, I had one guy... Cat, he... Um, one of the he's the QC artist okay. reached out to me mm-hmm. and um he got a decent sound mm-hmm. but he was like we should do a feature but mm-hmm. then try to charge me yeah 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 I'm like, I didn't come find you yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. I mean you dope you feel me <laughs> but come on now nah. like that's like a nigga walking to you like hey yeah. you want to buy this shirt yeah for sure I'm like, what the fuck bro yeah, no man. I seen you back there yeah I yeah. see <laughs> like, uh, yeah. but no so it's like when it's shit like that man yeah. I kind of. Like I say, I'm more into building a relationship anyway. That way we can actually sit down. Because a lot of people don't even know what a split sheet is. Mm-hmm. We're talking about they a rapper. A yeah, for sure. Yeah. They got their publishing set up. Yep. A lot of people got money floating out there. Don't even know how to fucking get it. Exactly. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They just so, rapping. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of ways. And if if it only takes one song, mm-hmm. how much different streams you can you can get off of one song. No, for sure. For sure. Now, we were talking about the Tuba movies earlier. Would you, you Do you try to get your shit placed on the movies? Because that's another, some other shit, too. Um, that's the actually I'm trying to figure out how you even do that. Go about how it. you go about it. Yeah, For sure. that's something that we actually talk about quite often. Cause yeah. I'm more so in the placements. I'd rather hear my shit on video games and mm-hmm. commercials and shit like that yeah. than on the radio. Hell me. yeah, hell yeah. Now I do this thing called talk about the bars, bro. Talk about one of your bars, and you know what I'm saying. I, I say one of your bars and we talk about it. So um, don't you know you said all these ideas? I'm the only one starting businesses. Talk about that shit, bro. Like you be having a lot of your niggas or some shit like talking about some shit, but ain't really going through with it. Uh, yeah, all the time. Mm-hmm. You know how niggas get. We, it's like barbershop talk. Yeah. Everybody got a million ideas. Yeah. But like, I'm actually taking chances and 
I did LLC my publishing company. Mm -hmm. Then we turned around the LLC the uh, music the uh, label. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's just like we had an idea, but just to try it, just like you were saying, just sometimes you got to go for it. Uh -huh. That's what we decided to do. So I threw that in the bar just to hopefully it was like a double entendre, like it kind of was a shot, but then it's kind of like hopefully it motivates you to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Now hear me, nigga. You say, uh, how you gonna eat if if if, if you don't know your worth? Talk about that shit, bro. Like, shit. Some people don't know themselves. Yeah. Some people say they worth something because they heard somebody else say. It. Yeah. But it's like, what you good at? Mm -hmm. And some people can't tell you. Yeah, for sure. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people can't tell you what the fuck they good at, bro. Yeah. And it's like now I'm at the age where I'm, I'm watching shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm seeing how, um. People are going based off of how other people react. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Hell yeah. You ever talk to somebody and had somebody watch to see the reaction of somebody else? Hell yeah, talking to you. For sure, like, that shit is the yeah, craziest shit. Yeah, yo, with that, that validation. Like, like, I'm not. I don't even want to talk to you no more, yeah, bro. Because you, sure. so you want to be validated. Hell so yeah. Bad. Hell yeah. Like I'm the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at the shit. <laughs> like I'm fucking like yeah, bro. Yeah. You, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I am the shit. Nigga. I'm that nigga, dog. No, so it's like I'm able to pay attention to shit like that nowadays. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now uh, on go and get it. You say uh, respect the process, so I know I come a dime a dozen. So this for the ones, uh, the ones. Who knew I would that, amount to something? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. I didn't want to fuck your shit. Up. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I talk, appreciate it. Talk you, about man. that shit, bro. Um, instead of thinking about the people that didn't think I could do it, I'm more so focused on the people that knew I could. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of times people are like, man, the haters, the haters. I have to look at the for the people that show love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you could have put your time and energy into doing something else. Uh huh. You know. Hell yeah, hell yeah, so dog. So you appreciate my art, then yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. For sure. On prices, you say, what's the point of taking a shot if you ain't falling through? Yeah, it's like that's like saying, "Hey, that girl cute," but you don't go talk. To her. <laughs> you know, hell what yeah, man? Shut hell up, yeah, man, nigga. Shit. No, for sure. Or you go talk to the girl and now he mad. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like man, get out of here. Yeah. Or having like a, or like in basketball. You open, mm -hmm. but you don't even ask for the ball. No, and for then sure. I like, shoot, and you met. I was wide open. Nigga, like, nigga, nigga let nigga, me know. Man. Nigga, clap. Nigga, yeah, sir. Like, yeah. you don't even look motivated to shoot. Hell that yeah. Bitch. <laughs> nigga, 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 nervous as hell. You so shooting because you got to. Because you yeah. wide open. No, I don't no. trust you, nigga. You got them niggas who run away from that shit, too. Like, nigga, that last shot, nigga, that bitch trying to motherfucker. Well, they give it back. Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, then why the fuck you even start <laughs> up? Go to the doors. You know hell what yeah, yeah, duh. So, yeah, it's like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't you know you say uh, no regret but some of my partners I lost respect standing on principles niggas do whatever for a check yeah, and that was a double entendre for like how people uh, want validation from social media mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying some people I done watched so many people um, dress a certain way mm -hmm. walk a certain way we watching niggas with fanny packs now <laughs> You yeah, for sure, me? yeah. Hey, I did like, my, my gun, that motherfucker. Just, like, I mean, I get it. Like, yeah. times change, but, you know, I'm more traditional. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, it's like some of the stuff that go on, I'm not agreeing to it. So, that's how I feel. So, I put it in my music. For sure, for sure. Yeah. On normal, nigga, you say uh, they put on the Bible and then tell lies. Nigga, because even pastors <laughs> fuck up. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, we seen a pastor eating coochie. <laughs> you can't tell. And then it wasn't his wife. <laughs> no, for sure. So it's like shit. Let's be real, bro. Like a lot of this shit be smoking mirrors, man. Yeah. And I'm just seeing through it and no, speaking about it. For sure. Pass out here eating box and shit, dog. <laughs> dog. How old was you when you realized that shit wasn't that bad, though? What? Eating box. When I was <laughs> shit. Because, like, you got the uncles, like, nigga, you gonna eat box. Like, nigga, I ain't never eat box. <laughs> see, that's what I say. See, you seven years old. Yeah, for sure. By the time my generation came, I grew up off of Pretty Ricky and all them niggas. But even before then, this yeah. was R. Kelly. Hell yeah. Ball head R. Kelly sure. and all them for shit. Sure. You feel me? So, for my sure. first time doing what I had to do, nigga, yeah. that was my first time doing what I had to do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for <laughs> sure. For sure. Hell yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I'm, the gate. I remember talking to myself, like, all right, I'm gonna eat this box. I'm gonna eat this box. <laughs> Fuck it. Go ahead and eat it. Man. Eat that box, huh? And look, and then I had him maturity younger, so uh, like women didn't believe I was a virgin. Yeah. So with her, I had to act like I wasn't. Yeah. So like, yeah, 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 I did everything I thought sure. I was supposed to do. Duh, shit, <laughs> hell yeah, dog. And shit, back then, like I'm like, nigga, hell no, nah, box. Yeah. And at the time, we was going to eat the cake. They used to be laughing. If you had a beard and hell shit, yeah. oh, I know that nigga eat the cake. I'm sitting here, all the bitches looking yeah. at me. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna eat it. Now these new niggas, they going straight to the ass eating ass. Nah, I don't know what these new niggas are. We. <laughs> So we get married, he probably, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, fuck it. Let me go ahead and try something new, baby. <laughs> Quarantine. And what are you talking about? Are you with my girl? Yeah. Uh, man, I violate my girl. Oh, yeah, you do whatever. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It's a girl. Hell yeah. <laughs> but he's, he, he, 
<laughs> these new niggas just getting a new chick like that. I just met you yesterday, but let me go eat your ass. Like, I mean, because like, that's all they got to go for. Because yeah. you ask them what they good at. <laughs> <laughs> eating they, ass? No, they fucking They looking like, yeah. hey, tell me about eating ass. I need that validation. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Some niggas ain't good at shit. Else. They got to go to law. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I like, understood. You say 90s baby, but well, I can show you I'm a different breed. I yeah. get that shit right? Yeah. Okay, bad, 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 bad. Talk mm -hmm. about that shit, bro. Like, I, like, you ain't you ain't you trying to prove that you ain't the, the typical nigga or something or you know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I feel like um, I practice putting myself on uh, living at a certain type of mm -hmm. uh, living a certain way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I know it's easy for people to it's easier to do the you know bullshit. You some people don't even feed themselves good. Like, for sure, a nigga be like nigga, I want some steak and shit like that, and go to Wendy's. Like, <laughs> See, I, it's niggas. <laughs> for sure. You can fuck around it for real. Pay attention, bro. Yeah. Pay attention. Some people, you'll fuck around to treat somebody better than they treat themselves. They comfortable by themselves. They'll eat noodles all week. Mm -hmm. You come around now, they you eat a steak, now they want a piece of your steak. Hell yeah, for you know sure. Like, nigga, you, like, know, you could get it, but nigga, you don't need to know how to treat yourself for sure. good, bro. No, for sure. You Fast. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. That shit funny. So some hell. people don't understand. So it's just like, it's, you know. Yeah. What's, what, what, uh, what's some shit that you hate that you got to deal with when it comes to this music shit, bro? Like, that, that you got to motherfucking like, damn it. That 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 agenda they pushing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that that turns me off. Yeah, to like ever even being put in that much of a spotlight. Like, like I like the underground better because it's like that's where the rawness still is. Like, mm. cause music ain't all bad. Yeah, it's just what they put in our face and kind of promote. It's like, For sure. oh, come on. Yeah. Speaking of that, do you feel like the Detroit sound? Do you feel like it's a is is actual uh, actual sound, or you feel like niggas is doing the whole copy and paste thing? Like, damn, nigga, Vezo sound like this or. Peasy sound like this. I'm no, go it's ahead. a sound. Yeah, it's a sound. It's mm -hmm. just it's a sound that everybody's so used to. Because if you go back, like Motown moved to Cali. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When we get and all it is circle back around. No, we for sure. We get grandkids. Hell so yeah. when we want to pot, where we go? Cali. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Payroll, Car Cardo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We kind of had the same type of no, for bounce, sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's just and that's a big range. Yeah. No. You feel me? Hell so yeah. I think it's just. We finally getting our recognition because yeah. we deserve it. Yeah, but you, you do got those niggas who be copying and pasting them, but I do see it being like an actual sound. Mm -hmm. Like you got that Chicago drill sound, you yeah. got that down south shit, like the West Coast, like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So we finally, and we our shit being mimicked. Like you can tell, like niggas yeah. taking the motherfucking sound. We away. damn near can name it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At first, we didn't even know what to call it because yeah. it was like, it was just like, okay, it's a Detroit sound, but then all Detroit artists don't sound like that. Mm -hmm. But now it's to the point where even the beat selections now, yep. you know what I'm saying? Now, especially now the sampling that came back around, so mm -hmm. now it's damn near sound like Motown music. And it's funny, like, I, I remember hearing a hell of a time about like how niggas said his, his, his beats wouldn't do shit. Outside Detroit, nah, everybody getting the motherfuckers, mm -hmm. dog. You got motherfucking uh, Larry June on the motherfucking shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, got, you got everybody on that Kodak. nigga shit. Kodak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody want the motherfucking uh, hell of a beat, dog. Because yeah, it's that bounce. Yeah, and you got some niggas from the city getting hell of a beat and... Mm, not doing nothing. Bro. Yeah, you don't need to be on that hell of a beat. <laughs> <laughs> not doing nothing. And they probably give you a, a thousand dollar package. Like, man, this nigga's trash. But me. you got to remember, too, some people still believe, like, how I started off. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a song. Yeah. They go invest all that money when they realize... Like okay, got them a little bit of fame. Now mm -hmm. they got to, but then they put themselves out there like they made it already. So now they got to keep up with the look. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. Versus if you grind and somebody can see you grind and grow with you, mm -hmm. like shit. I remember in these videos, all he wears white tees and dickies. Hell now yeah, this for sure. Wearing a motherfucking triple fat goose. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's like people want to grow with you. If you there already, it's like what for the sure. fuck? I don't want to hear you stun on me, nigga. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So when uh, when Breeze Three coming out, or if you gonna keep that as Breeze, like you gonna keep that shit going, or you gonna go to something else? Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so look, man, Breeze Three was supposed to drop. Yes, originally. No, he's on the <laughs> <laughs> no, Breeze Three was originally was gonna drop a couple months ago, but okay. we ended up doing a Stay Alert song. And okay, did a single off of it, mm -hmm. and um. But in the midst of that, we didn't created a whole new project called Mike, and I okay. think we gonna put that out before Breeze Three. Okay, okay, Breeze okay. Three might cycle around back in uh, next. Well, yeah, next year. Okay, okay. Now, dog, I know Breeze Two drop. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, Breeze Breeze One at though? Because it wasn't it wasn't on title when I was looking for it. Yeah, because the first time I dropped Breeze, I didn't even know how to uh, get my shit distributed on there. Yet. So mm -hmm. Breeze Two, I mean Breeze One is on. Uh, that Piff. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's on that okay. Piff. Damn, that Piff don't even exist no more though. It don't. You know, they just, they just uh, like a couple months ago, they yeah. done. Yeah. Oh, I still got it in the fold though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I don't know what the fuck happened with that Piff, boy, but that yeah, shit. Yeah, You got to go on um, my, my mixtapes. Mix live mixtapes. Live mixtapes. Yeah, you got to go on live mixtapes. I think now. I might have my, no. 
I think I put on live mixtapes too. I think okay. I might have uh, Breeze one on live. Hell yeah, nigga. See, hey, my, my, my first mixtape on Dead Piff. I can't. Damn, I, I got to find that shit. That. Hell dog. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, Value One and shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's some uh, short term goals and long term goals, dog? Uh, short term, um, to get more quality. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Get better. Mm -hmm. To make sure I uh, keep everything professional. Yeah. Um, get more music out. Mm -hmm. More visuals, you know what I'm saying? Get the market and understand. Hey, this shit just finish building the uh, structure so we yeah. could, you know, build it, finish building the basement so we could build the house. For sure. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. the short term. Long term, um, bookings. For sure. We'll start getting, you know what I'm saying? Bookings yeah. and uh, doing features. Hell yeah. Um, reaching out to people and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? To actually building a relationship and being able to. You know, going start going on tours and doing shows and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and then start learning how to organize and put together my own. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. What's some shit as a youngie that you 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 believe in that you don't believe now as a you know what I'm saying older Mike? Like I said, nigga, eighteen, I'm pussy. Yeah. Fuck no, I ain't no pussy. Nigga, I ain't nah, nigga. In. When I was young, I ain't believe in nothing. If yeah. I couldn't see, I ain't believe in that shit. Man. Yeah, for I sure. Was, what? Yeah. It's whatever the fuck I wanted to do. It was my world. I was just in it mm -hmm. and when I was a young nigga. Mm -hmm. But grown now, yeah. that's insane. Whole different, shit. whole <laughs> different way of thinking. Crazy. No, crazy yeah, as hell. Crazy. Hell yeah, dog. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to start outside the whole music shit, bro? Like anything you want to try different? You want to be motherfucking to be after and shit? Like what's some, <laughs> like, what's some shit outside of music that you want to tap into? Um, uh. More stuff into like a uh, business, probably like um, like I say, probably politics. Mm -hmm. Getting into like uh, giving back to the community and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, finding ways to do that shit. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, oh, getting into like um, real estate. Yeah. Getting into like uh, marketing and sales, advertising. You know, starting like businesses to where, and I want to get into some shit to where like I could start businesses and then mm -hmm. sell them to people. For sure. Structure them off and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Um, then the podcasting, yeah, and then clothes for sure. For sure, you got you, man. Make sure you tap into the podcast. That should be fun, bro. Yeah, you meet me, meet some motherfuckers. That shit dope. Yeah, that shit dope. I'm definitely gonna fuck with. Now talk about that's the that's the label RMG. Yeah, relatable music group. Okay, okay. Now is that some shit that you want to expand and have like you know what I'm saying artists you want to or it's just about you? No, we uh definitely you know I want to build a whole team. But see, I want to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to get people actually. The opportunity to make most of their career even if it's underground you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so right now i'm using myself basically to you know be yeah. that type of them type of relationship For sure. because i know i'm not gonna let myself yeah. down with what i'm doing now when i was doing my research you had uh, back in the day it was something different because it was like a detroit symbol what was uh, that shit dpmg oh yeah what? Pad music group. okay that's my publishing company okay 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's, that's everything is, is through that uh um, your public your pub and shit uh yeah, most of uh, a lot of my music I put out beforehand. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now back then, was you thinking like I'm getting a deal tomorrow? When you dropping because you, when you first started dropping like when you this was like 2020 when I think when yeah. I saw some shit. Um, did you think like a deal was coming tomorrow? Like as soon as I dropped this project, niggas a rap. No, I always thought like I was gonna drop something, somebody's gonna be interested, and they're gonna call me. Yeah. Like, I got an opportunity, and I just gotta seal the deal. For That's sure. how I thought it would. Hell go. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like in my head. Yeah. So um. I thought he was just gonna grab the right attention for somebody to be like, "Hey, I want to change your life." Huh? For sure, let's discuss this. Let me ask you this right now: Are you ready for that phone call? Like you, like niggas say, "Hey, I want, I want to, I want to invest in you. I want you in this label. I want. You. Are you ready for that? For that? For that next level shit? Because a lot of niggas, you know, you could say that shit, but are you really mentally ready for that shit? Uh, like everything that come with it. Mm -hmm. I think that's almost one of them situations you won't know till you're there. For that's sure. how they end up signing the motherfuckers that ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really don't know until you got, sure. got all this paperwork in front of you. And then yeah. it's the details of the deal. Yeah. See, now that's why they have probably go after somebody that's younger. Mm -hmm. It's not going to look into the stipulation. Yeah, because they're signing. An older person ain't just signing. Them. Yeah, for you sure. You got to go through three lawyers. They Hell yeah. Mama, the wife. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that young nigga like, oh, shit. Come yeah, shit. He see that money. Nigga. Hell yeah. Sign. Nigga, how much you sign for? 100000 Nigga, nigga got, what? Ten, got a motherfucker a 10-album ten, a ten deal. Nigga, yeah, 100000 Damn. Nigga, I dropped 10 albums in that motherfucker. For real? Like, damn, I got to drop 10 albums, do a couple that, two even movies. That's before taxes. Yeah, for sure. them taxes. Nigga. But it be hard because like niggas ain't never seen money. They be like, damn, I don't want to pass this shit up. That's why you got to know a nigga is really sure of him, himself if he turned down money that he ain't never seen before. 
Yeah. Like, nigga, oh, nigga, fuck no. Because then you know, like, if they offer me this shit, it's a bigger bag somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then some people, you got to believe in yourself enough to know that it's something else that could come grab it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so for if sure. they could come with 100,000, somebody could come with a million. Yeah. Cause I forgot that that movie. I think it's called uh, Alan, some shit with Taraji P. And my man, he was selling this shit. And my man offered him 800,000. And nigga turned that shit down. And she, she left that nigga like, dog, you, you crazy. <laughs> that nigga wound up getting dumb on my money afterwards. So much that he gave her two million back after they was already, you know what I'm saying, broken up and shit. Nigga had the house that he said he was going to get, the boat, nigga, everything. But he Damn. believed in his shit so much. Like, if y'all can give me 800000 I know for a fact. No, no, it was, it was someone started with A or something. Ah, I forgot. Stumps, yeah, but I'm like, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, nigga. It sound like matrimony. Acrimony. Acrimony, yeah, something like that, yeah. So he turned down 800,000, wound up getting niggas like about 20 million, nigga, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now she mad when I kill a nigga. She like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it gave your ass a couple million. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, uh, Making the Band, bro. Back in the day, Diddy had Making the Band. Oh, man. Give me your Making the Band album. You and four other people. It could be producers, singers, rappers, whatever. You and four other people is going to make the Mike Brown album. Damn. Four people. Yep. Any, Rappers, any, singers. Any, anything. They can do anything. As long as it's music related. Hmm. Well, we gonna need beats. Mm hmm Had to go after Hit Boy. Okay, yeah. Nigga on the road right now. Yeah, Hit nigga Boy. dad rapping that bitch. Man. <laughs> that shit crazy. Yeah, Hit yeah. Boy, we gonna have him for the producer. All right, so you Hit Boy. Mm-hmm. We need this, uh, we need a singer. I had to go. Sade. Okay. I'm get Sade Abdul, nigga. <laughs> we about to ask me a hater. <laughs> what, you don't fuck with Sade? Hey, I fuck with heavy, nigga. We always argue about that shit, dog. <laughs> I'm going to get Sade. Okay, so yeah, you All got right, two so more shit. We need writers and artists and. I'm going to get Hove. All right. Now you, know, you got that last spot. Where the fuck you going? Hmm. And I had to go get it. This one tough right here. Hell yeah. This one tough. Hove. Hove, Sade, Hit Boy, you, and MC Hammer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga got a great band, nigga. <laughs> so, what that, that last one? Uh, the last one would have to be. He thinking hard. Hell yeah, hell yeah, because that's that's tough. Because they got well, hold. We got to be somebody. This. Hell yeah. You gotta be somebody lives there. You can't go from Ho to motherfucking right. Quavo. <laughs> Shout out to Quavo, but that shit don't make sense. Yeah, you got shot there. You got motherfucking legendary people. Yeah. So you gotta keep. You gotta stay on that motherfucking path. Somebody legendary. It had to be. No, I'm going Drake. Drake. Yeah, I'm going. Drake. All right, all right. He, he can sing. He can do all this shit. Yeah. Ho gonna make him rap. Yeah, for sure. But if you want that motherfucker R&B verse and shit, me that uh, hook, then you got him. Yeah, we can make. Yeah, you know yeah, how many times we make with hoes out there? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. What? You good to go? Yeah, we got a about twenty year run. Hell we gonna yeah. be motherfucker on tour for till. Yeah, man, for <laughs> sure. Uh, fan. Hell yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> shit, at the end of the day, how you want to be remembered, bro? How you want people to see Mike Brown at the end of the motherfucking day? Uh, I want keep. I keep. I'm almost at Mike Jones like three times, dog. But. Hey, look, that's crazy. <laughs> But that shit kind of followed me. Like, even when I was in school, it was like, who, Mike Brown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Hell yeah. I want class president off that shit. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> who, Mike Brown? Yeah, Vote for Mike real. Brown. Captain of the basketball team, all type of shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, it followed me. Like, it was my shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, Hell yeah. Shit stupid. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I want to be remembered for uh, shit being a father. Mm -hmm. Everything that I'm passionate about, being an for engineer. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, artist, a philosopher, goddamn. Sure. Yeah. You know, just thinking long term, like, mm -hmm. you know, author, shit, politician, all type of shit. Like, Hell I yeah. think ain't no limits for real. No, for sure. There ain't no limits. Is, is anything you would have did different with the start of your career? Mm -hmm. 
Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope, because shit, it wasn't really no other ways but to, like, I had to, I just pushed myself out there. For sure. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. really, it wasn't no really other ways to really, like, what I'm supposed to do, like, go bed. Yeah, hey, for go sure. listen to this song and go, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't. <laughs> Hell yeah. Know. A little jealous of you, bro. 32 at 32, I lost my hair. Now you always got dreads. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, 32, and then I made that decision, like, <laughs> you know how you leave out the barber chair and you feel good about yourself? Mm-hmm. I stopped feeling good about myself, bro. <laughs> like, man, cut this shit off, bro. I was, bitch, I was holding on a dear life, nigga. I had waves all around here. The top was too fucking stringy to get waves, that bitch. Oh, man. So every time I see niggas over three with hair, I be like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> man, nah, it's going to leave me one day, too, man. It's going to be soon. <laughs> when you see all your pops, did he have hair? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you good, man? I think he was kind of holding on. Yeah, hold it was on. It's hard strong. to tell. Yeah. That <laughs> shit was real slick. Like, hold on <laughs> to your love. Yeah, now, dog, I got this new shit. Towards the end, we do, you know, a little funny shit, bro. Mm-hmm. This called worse, What's Worse? <laughs> what's Worse? Finding out your kids ain't yours or finding out you adopted? <laughs> My kids ain't mine. Okay. Hell yeah. That's gonna that's gonna hit different. <laughs> for sure. That's gonna change me. No, for sure. Hell for yeah. I think I could get over that I'm adopted. Y'all just lied to me for my whole life, but I'm you know, I could cry get over that. But who my real parents? That's the next Yeah, no, for right? sure. But if I didn't have these kids mm-hmm. and you told me these are these kids, these kids was mine. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, you might as well just call the police then. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. For real. All right. Because I need some restraint. What's worse, finding out your girl cheated on you through text or in action? In action? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I yeah. see that shit. <laughs> yeah. Now you telling me, to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. even myself one in this moment. For sure. You feel me? Hell yeah. Hey, what's worse, losing your chick to your homeboy or losing your chick to your ex? <laughs> 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 Probably see a homeboy. Yeah. Cause she could come back from being when the girl kiss a girl, it ain't that bad. It's like yeah. you don't need some dick in one day. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm the last nigga that dropped it off, I'm probably for gonna, sure. you know, first candidate. Yeah. You can sleep with my man's bitch. I didn't remember. Yeah, I got scrap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of all for the sure. people in the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't bring this nigga around for you to have options. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right. What's worse? A girl who can't cook or a girl who don't clean? Don't clean. Hell yeah. Don't Can't handle no nasty bitch. I, I, I cook. Yeah. Like in my house, I could I do a lot of the cooking. For sure. Yeah. What's worse, not having no money on Christmas or not having no money on your kid's birthday? They birthday. Hell yeah. They you, birthday. Okay. It was okay. Christmas. You like, we fell on hard time. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Santa Claus ain't he coming with a little something. <laughs> yeah. What's worse, dog? Kiss your girl in her breast thing or eating her pussy in her box thing? Box? Yeah, for sure. Hell no. Nah. That's supposed to be the portal to heaven. Who the fuck is that? that baby's come out of there. You can't have that shit like Yo, that. Yeah. What's, what's worth a girl with bad feet or a girl with bad teeth? Teeth. All right. What's worse? No car, nice crib or nice car, no crib? Hold on. Say that again. No car, nice crib or nice car, no crib? I'm going nice crib. Yeah, fuck it. I catch yeah. the bus. Hell yeah. What's worse, some stained titties or some stained feet? (laughs) 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 Hey, the motherfucker. (laughs) Hey, (laughs) That's fucked up. I'm going to have to go feet. I would have to go feet. Yeah. What the fuck, stank titties? Oh. No, but niggas told me it's some stank titties. I ain't never had experience with stank titties, but. Dang. How they stank? Yeah. I swear to God, Yeah, but let's be like a little mouse or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, nah. My feet, though, different. Hell yeah. Those stanky ass foot. For sure. For sure. What? All right, this last one, dog. What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with, with long legs? I mean, long arms. Short nigga with <laughs> a tall nigga, nigga with, with short, short arms. Yeah, with short arms, or a short, short nigga, nigga with long. A tall nigga with short arms. <laughs> 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 nigga, a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nigga, I'm gonna shoot your ass as soon as I motherfucking fold up, nigga. Like, 
Shoot the fuck out your I'm thinking like boxing. You know what I'm saying? They got footwork like a motherfucker, but you can't. Hey, that short nigga with the long ass arms gonna tear your ass up. Hell yeah. They got a hell of a reach, nigga. Terrence Crawford got long arms. That's why he was beating that nigga up. Like he was fucking that nigga up. Man. I would want someone's bread on the That nigga going backwards punching that nigga. Dog. I never seen a nigga knock a nigga out off the jab. I have. Dog. I'm watching Bud Crawford. Dog. <laughs> that nigga, I told everybody, dog. I swear to God, my mom grave, bro. That same day I had told my man, I said, dog, he going I was talking I was talking to my wife, uncle, I'm like, nigga, he gonna knock that nigga down he ended that bitch in life round. Mm-hmm. Nigga, if I would went a fan doing put twenty on that shit, bro. You would have made like twenty bands. Nigga off a of, nigga off the knife. I thought it was gonna be the eighth. I thought it was gonna be the seventh or the eighth. Man. When he, I seen him falling at that seventh round, that nigga should have been done. They should have thrown towel in. Yeah, they're supposed to stop it. That nigga that nigga face, I never seen a nigga face who was black turn that red. Because like, you know he that accident, yeah. he got a lot of that shit reconstructed. Bro, he fucked. And Bud really strong. Yeah. Like how he knocked niggas out. Duh. Like he angly too. That Once, nigga, nigga that jab was hurting. That bitch hurt me. Like, God damn, you heard that fucking jab, nigga. But the jab wasn't, it wasn't the worst part. It was them bitches he was catching in between. Yeah. He was beating his ass. Duh. That nigga, and then the thing about Spence was actually landing some shit that wasn't even doing nothing. Nigga, he, but see, that's what Bud known for. You don't really know you hurt him until he start taunting you. Yeah. You feel me? Man, then they got that nigga with that uppercut. How? I'm like, damn. Yeah, but Nigga hit that nigga on his ear. Nigga fucked his whole hearing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He fucked that nigga. I ain't seen nobody in there be like that since fucking Martin, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, hey, he was getting that beat. Like, the, 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 yo, Spence and Deontay Wilder both got fucked up. Deontay Wilder was getting his ass beat by that big he white boy. He had no business going back for that rematch. Bro, no. No, because low-key, you post lost the first time. The only reason why it was a draw because you knocked him down at the two times. Man, that nigga was getting up like the Undertaker. Dog. He would be, really? be that nigga so bad, he was just playing with that nigga, but bro. But you know, he was like, he like what, he was like 60 pounds bigger than that mm-hmm. nigga? 40 pounds? It that was shit. something crazy. Because you know, now if you heavyweight, you just heavyweight. Dog, that nigga like a mechanic, a toy ass. That nigga beating your and ass. And he really combined. Yeah. That nigga had that, that nigga. nigga <laughs> that nigga moved like a ballerina on his feet, nigga. Like, yeah. bro, that nigga got hands, bro. Don't fight that nigga. And his jab crazy, too. Yep. He gonna fuck you up. He gonna fuck that nigga up. I'm like, damn, Deontay, you a hoe. <laughs> nah, he, he just... He was trying to, but you, that really exposed him because that nigga can't really fight. He can't bite. That nigga just throw fucking haymakers. He's strong as fuck. Yeah, if he catch you, you gonna die. Yeah. But, nigga, <laughs> <laughs> but my thing is, nigga, that's the only thing you do. My man, Tyson Fury, can box. That nigga yeah, can fight, can bro. Box, that nigga yeah. all around. Like he, 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 I think he could have ended that nigga early. He was just carrying that nigga, beating his ass. Yeah, giving him a good show. Yeah, man. We end everything off, dog, with a drunk moment or a high moment. You know what I'm saying? If you were drunk, high, or on cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's, the, what's the story if you were drunk or you was high, bro? Um, well, I do both together. Like, if I, you know, but I remember it was like I would do these things like I had get togethers, right? I call all the girls I knew, whether I'm talking to them or not. Okay. And I call all my peoples and shit. We'll link up. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we was in Bright Mo. Okay. In the hood, that bitch had one house on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That shit's scary. I'm not. I'm, I'm turning around. Oh, man, man. Fear. No, but we had we was getting it in, nigga. Yeah. And, um, at the time, Ciroc had all these different versions of Ciroc. We was about three, four different things of Ciroc. Nigga. Yeah. We and that bitch fucked up. My cousin like, hey, nigga, <laughs> we about to take some of these. I said, what the fuck is this, yeah. nigga? This nigga done pulled out some goddamn uh, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nigga, what's up? Look, so we. <laughs> I was better nigga say that. Yeah, I thought he was gonna say some no, I lived the life, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm nigga, like, what the fuck? Bro, we in that bitch drunk as hell. The girls come, his girls rotating in and out and shit like that. I got some <laughs> girls mad at me, some ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't having the ball. We drunk as fuck. My man's bought a um a case of champagne. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Nigga, we drinking. This nigga pour champagne on my man's floor. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucked up with his shirt on back because he was fucked up too. Yeah. Out of there Cause we was mixing Yeah that bitch Motherfucker toasted the homies Nigga On that nigga carpet Duh so then, <laughs> Duh <laughs> For real I so, thought about Say wood floor Like damn No nigga. it was carpet on Nigga disrespectful nigga, nigga. Yeah right. nigga <laughs> <laughs> So then we motherfucking um, So uh, in the midst of that shit We, we dab out of the shit Nigga so At one point <laughs> Nah we rolling You feel yeah. me Duh we, I'm just gonna sum it up. In a this nigga tripping though. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about how you tripping all this shit. Yeah, so you, we was young. Yeah, we ain't know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all we was just like, fuck it, nigga. We partying, and my cousin had a uh, gun with a beam on that bitch, <laughs> and some girls came in. They already know we tripping because then I had one homegirl used to come over. She just like just uh, get naked. She's yeah. a stripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like when she gets drunk, miss, you mind if I get naked? Niggas thinking like, all right, panty bra. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, this bitch winning. Titties out. Titties out. Duh. Barefoot naked. <laughs> 
<laughs> ain't no duh. pole in this bitch. Dog, it's naked that bitch, dog. God damn. Naked as hell, nigga. So we that bitch drunk as hell. This nigga waving the gun around. Yeah, dog. <laughs> on his fucking jammer rat. Yeah, dog. He was fooling. <laughs> He was duh. fooling. Nigga, I get so blow, all of a sudden shit get different. Cause yeah. I, the Molly kicked in. Yeah. Now we all tell the motherfuckers like how they really feel and all this crazy <laughs> ass shit. For real, bro, that shit was crazy. Duh. And then we ended the night because Dog had scared the rest of the girls on it. And then because we had to, it's like we had the Book of Woods. Yeah. We had to, it was like different levels. Yeah, like yeah, sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. By the time the cold ones come, yeah. this nigga waving the gun. <laughs> I'm in mean, that motherfucker. Like, we can get whatever, nigga. I envy on my whole wallet. I got Liz cards. <laughs> this is why I fucked up my credit the first time. Nigga, credit cards. Nigga, I got, nigga, what? I just got paid too. Blah. That nigga threw a Liz card down. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about dumb shit. Mason's I get any card. hat you want, bitch. You feel like, what? <laughs> Oh, we gonna have a good night. Y'all woke this that man. We was rolling, bro. Them no. bitches got scared. They left the fuck up out of there. This nigga no. go and chase him outside off the porch. Bat, 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 bat. No. I said, come on, man. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I gotta get a new friend. Yeah, you know no. what I'm yeah, But these fooling. my cousins. So yeah. this I can't. Yeah, you can't get new cousins, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, so no. we just but no, nah, we had a ball though, man. man. We yeah. that was just one of the stories. But we have a lot of Man. Crazy ass, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this nigga but, but my thing is, look, this is the thing. Girly stayed naked. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> it was like time for me. Oh, It was damn. like, you know how cartoons had random shit just happened? Yeah. <laughs> so, nigga, they fussing about the good. This bitch is naked, war pants. Like, it's like, what the fuck is Duh, going yeah, on? I'm going to go ahead and leave. For real. And you know how when people <laughs> be blow up. like that? And this to be crazy. Like, when people be blow, it always be something dramatic, right? No, for sure. When you really blow, it really be something dramatic. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, like, yeah. that shit be crazy. Duh, man, that shit funny as hell. Mello, you was there? Nah. Oh. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> man, you, yeah, how y'all niggas yeah. meet, dog? You in that shit? How you meet my nigga Mello and shit? You, you gave him some love and shit? Oh, man. We uh, worked at a, the same job. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And um, he was the truck driver. Yeah. And, man, we, that shit used to be crazy. For, For sure. <laughs> when niggas say that shit, that means there was some, some shit that you can't talk about. Like, like damn, that shit crazy. No, for like, real, yeah, I got so many stories. Yeah, like, no, no, for sure, for sure. For real, because like, uh, but no, we worked for the uh, Johnstone together. He was the driver, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to play him music, or you know, to be like, hey, listen to my music, for sure. Like that. And he, um, shit, and in between then, shit, he taught me a lot. He used yeah. to help train, and I had to learn how to do the job and stuff like that. And then, mm -hmm. shit, over that, we kind of start bonding. For and sure. Then, quick story, we was um, because our companies have parties and shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And we had a, a company party at Top Golf, and like, every time we, this company went to somewhere, we got kicked out yeah, for being yeah, too drunk. Cause yeah. they bought the bar, bought food, Go. and we all from the city, yeah. we got from this country, Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? And we so we having a ball. Long story short, nigga, I end up uh, bringing the girl to the company party. You okay, because you know it's a nice date. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I'm smoking with this nigga. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the girl I should have came with. She, um, I told her, like, I'm going to call you back. I'll let yeah. you know if I'm going to come get you. For sure. Like that. Hell yeah. I end up picking somebody else. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What yeah. I mean? Put on a back burner. Man, what? Go get the girl. I'm smoking with him because we blow. Now, after this, the training over, we drinking, and they give us hotel rooms, too, so we don't have to drink and drive. Okay, and for sure. For sure, yeah, so y'all get in. Yeah, hell yeah. So long story short, nigga, we fucked around, and um, I'm in the car smoking with him. They like, hey, nigga. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name. But what's her name here? Yeah. Oh shit! I'm like, what? I mine just came back with the other one. Damn! Oh my god! I had to go up in that mug, dog. Me and Mellow's in that button blow. I'm trying to tell him what's going on. Duh. That nigga say, oh shit! Duh! Like, listen, listen, listen. This is what happened. I don't know what to tell you. Duh! Play as hell, duh. For real. So man, we over there, uh, and we sitting down. Was you? Were you over there when she walked over there? We was playing golf. Oh yeah. yeah. We was over there drinking. We getting toasted too. Yeah. We getting toasted. And everybody know about the girl coming. I just ain't seen her yet. <laughs> yeah, for and sure. Somehow I didn't walk past her. I ain't even see the bitch. Duh. You feel me? <laughs> so Fuck we up. over there hitting the motherfucking shit. My uh, super want the HR. He came over and uh, sat down. Mm. And we over there and niggas just like, oh shit, cause old girl bent the corner. Yeah. She's like, hi Mike. I'm like, oh shit. Hey, what up, dog? Hey, how you doing? Hey, nah, yeah. Yeah, because now nah, I'm over here with such and such. You know. Yeah. Nigga, I hit that motherfucker, dog. That shit was like one of the highlights. Duh. That, it just, man, we got so many stories, dog. Man, but, funny as hell, man. My nigga Mellow, man. Hell yeah, good. That nigga Mellow, good nigga, man. That nigga brought me in. Like, you know how uh, on Friday when nigga had, uh, <laughs> that strong nigga had brought that nigga, uh, uh, oh Cat Williams in? <laughs> I'm like, God damn, nigga, strong, ain't you? And like, huh. Like, like, I'll fuck with you, dog. That nigga over there, throw nah, hands on your camera. Like, nigga, that shit go viral, though. <laughs> 
a damn nigga was uh, shot got had beat by my nigga Melo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga made, made one too many jokes about that nigga being strong. Really? <laughs> <laughs> nigga Bud Crawford that nigga. <laughs> Duh. But see, where can niggas find you on the on the ground, bro? Where can, or you know, saying so you can, can find me. Uh, find the music I am industry. Mike Brown. I am M I C Brown. Mm. Um, you can find just t- yeah on YouTube M I C Brown. Okay. Um, on everything. Yeah. So you ever you ever went by any other rap names? Uh, publicly no. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know niggas go through rap names yeah, and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, no, Mike, my, Young Brown, some shit. Yeah, no, my first rap name was a uh, M16. Okay, okay, okay. But that was like it's too. I ain't want to be referenced to a gun. No, for that. sure. I feel like that ain't marketable. Hell at yeah. a certain point. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. See, you want to leave anybody with some motivational words or something, bro? Uh, yeah, man. Just uh, stay focused. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, get to know yourself. For sure. Don't let this. I always realize it ain't the worst. It ain't the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, it all. It always could be worse. You know what I'm saying? So just stay prayed up. Mm-hmm. You know, and, uh, shit. Just hold on tight. You feel me? For sure. Hell hold yeah. Hold on tight. Hell yeah. Well, shit, man. I appreciate you coming yeah, as motherfucker, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? When y'all get the podcast, man, bring me on, cuz. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> you know man. what I'm saying? But shit, man, you already know, man. Episode 170. Shout out to everybody, man. Mike Brown, we in the building, man. Holla at oh, your yeah. boy. Best podcast in the city. Ain't no competition. If it is, I don't already see it. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>